Well, I mean, first of all, I, I, was, I was telling them uh, the volunteers that have been here for, for days who had almost no sleep. I was, I was telling them on behalf of all Albertans uh, how grateful we are for the work and the dedication that they are uh, uh, showing with respect to supporting their neighbours and their communities. Um, you know, certainly we have been saying to, to that are affected by this, who are staying here, that, that the government of Alberta is behind them, that, you know, we, we may have a long road ahead of us, but they can count on not only the government, but the people of Alberta to, to support them in the ways that we need. Um, and I think that's what we need to hear right now. This is a devastating, devastating well, you know, a lot of people here are, quite frankly, very worried about the state of their homes. They're not sure what's going on, and, and I'm not going to say that because I got up in a helicopter and sort of looked at some of the smoke that I know which neighborhood's safe and which neighborhood's not. There's no question it's very serious. What I said to them is that the, the biggest victory we've had so far is to get people out of Fort McMurray while it's not safe, and that the most important thing that they can do is continue to follow instructions and, and not go back until it is safe and to know that when that happens, we'll be there with them. Well, we uh, uh, signed a, a, a memorandum of understanding with the federal government uh, this morning, uh, talking about the support uh, in the most immediate sense that we're looking for, um, uh, search and rescue, uh, helicopter support, airlift support, and, and some ground support as needed. Um, going forward, obviously, in the recovery period, that there's going to be a lot that we'll need. I mean, the federal government has a disaster um, recovery program, and of course, Albertans will need to, to access that. Um, but that's going forward. Right now, we want to deal with the emergency. We want people to be safe. We want them to be secure, and we want to get this fire under control. Uh, you know, one of the things we discovered when we were up in the air, um, uh, flying around, is that they're very conscious of how many uh, helicopters and planes are in the air because there's only so much airspace. And uh, so we've got everything that we need and more. And then the, with respect to the, the structural firefighting on the ground, uh, we've had some uh, great expertise come in and we've had offers from other provinces. And I have no doubt that as the, the fire uh, recedes to a point where we can have people safely on the ground, we will have everything and everyone to need. Uh, you know, people that have been either supporting uh, the evacuees, the volunteers, the professionals, the people that are fighting the fires, the police, they are all heroes. They are doing brilliant work up here.